Begin by logging into your Handshake account. If you have not set up your account yet, take the time to do so now. Once you have logged in, click on your name in the upper right corner and select My Profile. Before making your profile public, we must first develop it. Start by clicking on the pencil icon on the left section in order to edit your main profile section. Here, you can add a photo, your name, and school year, which is extremely important. Continuing down the left side, there is a section regarding your interests. In this tab, you can add what types of jobs you are interested in, cities you are looking to live in, and roles and industries that these jobs may be in. This helps to refine your job search and helps employers know what you are looking for. Next, we have the skills section. Here, you can add various skills that you have, ranging from characteristics to technological skills. The left side is the most important information to fill out in your profile. It creates filters and allows employers to learn a lot about you quickly, so make sure you take the time to fill out as much of this information as possible. The middle section gives employers more information to work with. Here, there is more in-depth explanations of your experiences and education. The My Journey section gives employers a quick summary of who you are and what you are looking for. The Education tab should have been automatically filled in, but make sure all of the information here is correct. The Work and Volunteer Service sections give you the space to show employers what you have already done that will help you succeed in your next position. Take the time to fill out this information and add descriptions to help employers understand what your responsibilities were and the skills you gained through your various roles. The Organizations and Extracurricular section allows you to add any more involvement you have on or off of campus. Lastly, there is a Courses section and Projects section where you can add other relevant content to enhance your profile. If you want to see what employers will be able to see when they click on your profile, there's a button on the left side which says See Employer View. Employers are also able to utilize filters to find students and search for students through keywords. They mostly use skills to filter, but also work experience and companies. Finally, if you have a current, updated resume, you can upload that along with any other documents you wish. Once you have completed your profile, you can make it public. Now, we can explore the helpful tools Handshake has to offer. First, we have the Jobs tab. Once you click on it, you have four options. Job search, applications, employers, and on-campus interviews. The job search tab allows you to filter by job function and location. None of the fields are required, so you can customize it as much or as little as you want, finding a happy balance between too general and too direct. The application tab allows you to keep track of all of the jobs you have applied to. One of the many added benefits of Handshake is that it helps you organize your job search better, like this. The Employers tab is a list of all the employers in the system. You are able to favorite specific employers by clicking on the star icon, which will allow you to receive notifications when they do anything, such as posting a new job. Lastly, and most importantly, we have the On-Campus Interview section. On-Campus Interviews have a higher probability of you getting the job, and there are various filters on the left column that can be used to refine your search. It's important to keep in mind that any student can interview with any company. Even if you are not qualified for a position, you are still able to apply to it. The employer preferences do not need to be all green and match up. This only shows how close of a match you are to the position they posted. But it does not decrease your chance of getting an interview. So still apply. Let's take a look at how to apply to a job once you have found one that interests you. You can either apply through Handshake by pulling all of your documents, such as your resume and cover letter, into your application. This way is quicker and easier oftentimes. But you also have the option to apply externally through the company's website. In order to do this, simply fill out the pop-up window and then continue the application process. The next tab on the top is the Events tab. Here is a list of events happening on campus. By RSVPing to events, you are merely holding your spot, not committing, but this helps to populate the event into your calendar. Further, by RSVPing, it allows those planning the events to get an estimate of how many people to expect. 
The Q&A tab is a general platform for questions you may have regarding your major or specific jobs or careers. You can search for questions, ask your own questions, and explore in order to find answers to any questions that you may have or that you didn't even know you had. Another key part of Handshake is to pay attention to the Notifications tab. To navigate to your notifications, simply click on your name and then on Notifications. Here, you can control the level of messaging you receive by clicking Edit Notification Preferences at the top. Finally, there's the Career Interest tab, also located by clicking on your name. This information gives employers a more accurate record of who is in the pool of searches. It also helps Handshake to find jobs to recommend to you based on your interests. Now, you have a start to the ins and outs of Handshake. If you have any more questions, stop by SuccessWorks. We would love to help you out.